Well, hello everyone. It is Friday, finally, March 18th, 2022. I'm Doug. It is once again time to quartal. We've been trying a lot of different strategies this week. Uh, we haven't done a four word strategy, but Eileen O'Brien writes Could the missing H have been fatal? Referring to a previous strategy that we had used. Uh, how about Bride Nymph Awful Stock? Adds the H and the W, has no dupes, missing the G, can't get them all. Well, you know what? Let's try a, you know, it's a Friday. Let's have a little bit of a relaxed uh, one. Let's try a forward strategy. Uh, let's give it a go. So we have Bride. Uh, we have Nymph. Wow, I already feel like we got a lot of good information here. Um, you know, hold on. Before we continue, uh, Eileen, let's go to the second one where it looks like I already have all four letters with the R and the I in the correct position. Now, it's not pride because the D and the E are not uh, in the fourth and fifth. Uh, but let's see here. Uh, it could be... Uh, it could be... Oh, it could be... It could be... It could be pride, P-R-I-E-D. Uh, <laughs> I feel like thinking it through, I'm, I'm almost certain that that's what it is. Certainly enough that I'll actually go and put it in here. There it is. Look at that. Um, so, okay. Uh, we'll continue on, however. Uh, so the th third one you suggested was awful. So let's go with awful. And, in fact, that gets us a little bit more insight. Now, interestingly, if we look at the fourth puzzle, we have... Uh, P and the E in the correct position. Uh, we also have an L and the A somewhere in that word as well. Uh, and I feel like that might be the word plate uh, because the T is not evaluated. Uh, so I'm wondering, do I want to just try plate or do we want to go with your suggestion for the word stock? I'll tell you what, I'll stay true to the strategy that you recommended and let's try stock. And that, if go back to the fourth one again. So now we have uh, all of, yeah, we have it. We have the word place is actually what it was. We have all the letters for it, so we'll pick that one off. All right. Uh, now let's go to, let's see, let's pivot back to the, let's pivot back to the third. We haven't looked at that yet. We have the B. And we have I-N-O-S. So we have all the letters. We just have to figure out uh, what the uh, sequence is. Oh, bison. It's got to be bison. Okay. Let's go with bison. It is. And that puts us back to our first one. We have A, R, and O in the correct position. And there is a B somewhere. Uh, so that tells me we have two guesses left. Uh, so I suspect it has to be the word arbor, A-R-B-O-R -R with a double R. Let's go ahead and give that a go. Uh, folks, is that our solution for today's quartal arbor? Yes, it is. It is arbor. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, there you go. Thank you, Eileen. That was very cool. Good strategy. Uh, it was successful for us, and it gave us a nice little fun Friday puzzle. Folks, let's join in those comments and talk about Cordal. You've been very active. I appreciate that, and it's been uh, engaging. Tell us your favorite words, your favorite strategies, uh, whatever you'd like to talk about all things Cordal. Of course, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. It greatly helps us. I appreciate it. Uh, we will see you next time for some more Cordal.